Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sesso here with a video here today and bring us episode number seven of redesigning your projects. And uh, for the record, I want to say thank you guys so very much for the series, uh, like kind of like the, the love. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I think that the first theme today's video is gonna be Pokemon, which I feel like a lot of guys enjoy and like. And I think I, I killed it. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Uh, per usual, if you guys haven't subscribed, you guys should definitely subscribe. If you guys are new to, to the channel, that new to, why did I say it like that? New to the channel, please do subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I don't wanna hold you guys any longer. Enjoy the video, leave a like if you guys liked it, enjoyed it. English is hard. Love you guys, peace and enjoy. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the first project, which happens to be a really cool Pokemon header designed by Karma, which I think is actually pretty dope, if I'm being completely honest. It is a pretty cool header. It's a pretty cool kind of like scenery kind of thing. Um, immediately, I already kind of saw, right? Like a little simple little uh, extra things he did here, with like the cool little eyes, like zooming into a bit of the character itself, a um, little kind of like Bulbasaur showing the level and stuff like that. That type of stuff is really, really dope. I'm definitely going to use it in mine. I'm definitely going to try to use at least two or three different Pokemon. So I see here, he has about four in Entirely, but almost like a bit of a repeat on the Bulbasaur, which Bulbasaur might be his favorite Pokemon ever. Uh, I think the only Pokemon header I've ever done was like the, the, the Pokemon with like the, uh, like the <laughs> Mewtwo. Yeah, that one. So that's besides the point. Let's just go ahead and jump into this and uh, see what we can create. All right, so these are the pictures that I actually have in today's video here. So I wanted to use more like a 3D HD, really cool looking header while still using the background that he has. Um, I have Charizard here, I have Ivysaur, and I have a little bit of Pikachu here. And I'm just gonna kind of see what it looks like. I think when I first start off with the text, I should get a foundation going, but I also have these little kind of like little tags here, just little miscellaneous things that I might wanna put as like added elements, just added fun things, I guess. Uh, yeah, and then this little thing right here, I wanna recreate this. I love the sort of like offset yellow, I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, first things first, I'm gonna drag over all this kind of like grass and stuff that he uses over here. It's actually kind of cool how he did the grass here. He kind of made just little duplicates of it, almost like the video game itself. Oh, uh, that's pretty dope for the record. I wanna add this little sky in too, though. I'm just gonna take this and duplicate this a bunch, just like this. Okay, so this is how my grass is looking right now. I'm kind of, I'm basically rotating a few of them and kind of putting them a little bit lower. That way it has some kind of depth in there so it's not super boring and whatnot. Uh, or not that it's boring, but just kind of like adding a little something to it. Uh, maybe even changing the color. Is that like a good thing or a bad idea? All right, so I'm not entirely sure if this is actually doing anything. Like, I, you can kind of see it's a little bit darker. I might change it around just a little bit more for some of them. It might just add that cool little sort of like, I don't know, make it look less the same exact thing over and over again. I think it's, I feel like it's gonna do something. That way we can come back over here and just drag in anything else we need. I'm guessing these little clouds are gonna probably need as well. Getting my clouds in there looking all nice, I think. Now what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna use the same exact name, of course, right? And how do you spell it? I'm not even gonna lie, I, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but it's, I'm gonna go with Karu, maybe, Pokemon. I'm gonna use this one right here. And of course, we gotta use the same sort of like layout and kind of theme, which is that kind of like yellow for the front face, the kind of like darker blue um, around it, and then like a little bit of a darker blue for like the 3D look. I'm gonna try to make it look 3D a little bit, but just not actually with a program, but just with uh, just a nice little simple text, text effects. Yep. I mean, it's kind of what I want, I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and just make a new layer and make sure I combine this stuff so it makes it kind of look super clean. See, even something like that is just all we need. Like a little bit of a top sort of hit with like a higher uh, color contrast and on the bottom a little bit of a darker contrast. I think that's pretty good. I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and move on actually adding in some of these Pokemon in here though. I'm gonna take my boy Charizard. Okay, kind of put him behind everything for a second. I think right there is pretty good. I'm gonna add in uh, Ivysaur here as well. I definitely do think I want to add just like a sort of like a quick duplicate just like this. I'm going to make a little layer mask. I'm going to turn it all the way off and then I'll drag it above everything. And then right around here, I just want to have his leaf basically kind of come in the foreground, which is going to add a bit of an element of kind of being almost a part of the, the, the graphic a little bit more. So like this, I think that is what I want to do there. And then I guess the same as I think can happen with um, Charizard's hand here. And I think I like how that looks too. Okay. So, so far, so good. Oh, wait, I want to add in Pikachu, too. I mean, it's kind of weird if I don't, right? Kind of make him super small, right? Something like this, maybe. Something like that. Give a little bit more room. Maybe this can go a little bit toward this way here. Oh, his finger. <laughs> I don't want to leave it. I'm definitely going to flirt with these sort of like sky and, and, and like cloud kind of uh, images here. There we go. Okay. I like how that looks. So, I definitely want to go ahead and maybe add in... Let's just say like, yo, I want the sky to like not be this pure blue. I love the pure blue that it is. I want to give a little bit of love on the bottom here, right? And I also, of course, put it below the grass and kind of say, yo, what if we were to make this a little bit more kind of like this? Oh my God, it actually does so well. 
hold on. Wait, that's exactly what it needed. Tell me that's not exactly what it needed. That little sky little thing right there is exactly what I was hoping would happen when I thought about doing that. Um, okay. All right. I like that. So I do want to, of course, color correct the uh, Pokemon here. I don't want them to be this kind of like, it feels a little bit too rendery. I want to kind of like give them a little more of a, of a texture. So of course, I'm going to go into here. We're going to bump up the uh, texture for sure. Clarity as well. Take the darks, make them a little more darker. Give them some life, some pigment. Like there's actually blood flowing in the homie. Oh, heck yes. <laughs> what? That actually looks so good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of duplicate the same as I think on Charizard here. I mean, Ivysaur here. Then last but not least, just add a little bit of pigment to my boy Pikachu. I don't want to kind of change too much of his tone. I think his tone is a is a pretty good kind of match there. Okay, now here's where it's going to get a little tricky, right? So I obviously want to add in some Pokeballs and whatnot. I'll add in a few of those real quick. Kind of like that. I think that looks pretty good. Kind of erase a little bit more on this side. Okay, nice little, little, little shadow there. And maybe even just go back to this one over here and maybe add in a shadow here if, it, if it's kind of... It might not be, it's super, super unnecessary, but let's just see what happens when we do. I mean, it kind of adds a little bit of something. I mean, I might as well, right? If I'm gonna be adding shadows like this, we might as well just add them onto like all of the all the things that I think would necessarily have a shadow, I guess. Like, let's say, yo, I make a I make a little little group of this text here, and I'm gonna, yo, there's a shadow here. That's where his mouth is. There'll be a shadow here, because that's where his, his finger is, right? Something like this, kind of erase it around a little bit. What if we did like this too? Okay, a little shadow going around. That that kind of did something. If I'm honest, it kind of that kind of did something, right? I wanted I want to definitely match the type of energy he has going on over here, which I think is like it just adds like a lot of fun kind of atmosphere. A little Pokemon this, Pokemon that. I definitely still want to add in that kind of like cool little um level and all that good stuff like that. Let's just see what happens when we do uh when we do that. We try that. Give that a shot. All right, moment of truth here. If I were to drag this in like this, okay. Is this gonna work out the way I thought of it in my head? Now, <clears throat> I guess before I make them smaller, I'm gonna probably like go ahead and just kind of convert this to a smart object, make it small now, and kind of put this one right, right, right here, maybe? I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty into how these like little nameplates are looking. I think possibly, nah, I think I like the colors a lot too. I'm trying to think if I want it to be a little more of like a wider tone or like a, like this kind of offset gray that I do have here. I think it does look dope like that. There might be a world, I don't know what, I don't really know. I like how it looks for sure. Cause now I'm kind of thinking like I had I added in these little photos here, right? I see these are like kind of the the base attacks, I guess, of of the Pokemon itself, right? We kind of have this little leaf strike thing here. We kind of have, of course, electricity going through for um uh, Pikachu here, and of course Charizard back here, of course, has fire, right? So now I'm wondering, is there a universe where I want to put that in the header? Is it gonna make sense if I do that? I don't really know, but I don't know. I I don't know. Bro, realistically, how would I even do this? Would I kind of just kind of pencil these out? Okay, maybe this could work, right? Like I just take these, right? We'll kind of use this little spiral motion to kind of throw in a bit of a, of a motion kind of going in. So like this one over here, I'll throw in a motion blur. We don't gotta go too heavy, but like 41 or so could be pretty good. I mean, yeah, for, I mean, it looks pretty good. Like if we're being honest with each other here, I'm guessing they shoot him out of this little thing right here. I, I really forgot. Well, he shoots him out like this right here. Maybe the guy kind of goes this way like this. I mean, it kind of works, right? It kind of shoots out of this. Let's just pray that people think, th yep. I, I really don't, I forgot where it shoots from, but it shoots out, right? We kind of got this little motion going here. He goes boom, 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 boom. And then it's like, just, yeah, whatever. It's, it's, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but I kind of like how it works. So I'm going to use it. Why not? Because then over here for my boy Pikachu, I have some lightning brushes, right, that I can kind of just take and like click a few times with these things and maybe make it kind of feel like he's kind of like electrocuting this way. See? Okay, tell me that doesn't look kind of cool, right? I, I don't want to put too much over, I have one right here. I was like, eh, it doesn't really make too much sense. I don't want to come out with just one ear and nothing else or one whatever, right? So I'm just going to like kind of put it like this, right, if I just delete that one. Right, you gotta see it looks a little bit cooler, right? So now all I need is some fire or explosion um, to throw on the right hand side. And I feel like I can add in a pretty cool, like all three elements looking pretty dope and, and whatever. So let's just give that a shot. See, okay, now I think we're at a spot where I'm like, all right, this makes a little more sense. I got a little fire elements in here as well. So that, the fire was pretty easy, right? Just kind of just, it, it fire is fire, right? You got electricity here as well. Now you got this little leaf attack here. And I'm feeling like I got a lot of the elements. I feel like this one right here might be a little bit too much. Four is a little bit awkward. And then I, of course, put in the little level here. I'm going to put a little shadow as well. 
just because it makes a little bit of sense. I think it was kind of fun to kind of introduce that element. I feel like I want to do that for almost all of them, like this one right here. Okay, I think the last thing this pretty much needs is some kind of like Aurora thing that I'm just gonna kind of take this orange, right? I feel like everything right now is a little bit too kind of flat. So right here, I'm just gonna add in like the Aurora of like if there was like fire-ish kind of area, like right here, right? The electricity will add in as well, kind of like this and like this and a bit in the back as well. And then only because I don't really have, nothing really kind of protrudes light here. So I'm gonna take a blue and kind of just add it in very roughly. Now, I'm not sure if you guys even noticed what I kind of did, but just by doing that, it kind of smoothens the area just a little bit, almost kind of combines all the images together in this very, very weird kind of way. Um, and I think it just kind of needs it. I think it just needs it in this case. And then maybe why not? I'll add in up here. Maybe I want to add in this bit of a kind of like hit on the top of the uh, the text here. It might be necessary. It might not be, honestly, if I'm being completely honest with you. I might just delete a f most of it realistically. And then we can combine it all together and add in a little final color correction. Right? And I think that looks pretty, pretty good, right? I mean, that looks pretty dope. If I'm honest, I even wanted to add in a bit of a distortion here. Maybe like make it so like it's kind of zoomed in, in the front. So it kind of feels more like, I don't know, fun and arcadey. I mean, yeah. I like it. I can't lie. I do kind of like it. I do really like it. I think it looks dope. I think this is it. I mean, yeah, I think I'm done. I think that's pretty much it. So right now for you guys, I'll throw in the before and after for you guys. Of course, the before that Karma did and the one that I just did just now, I pretty much threw in every element that he pretty much did as well. I got the Pokeballs in there. I got a few Pokemon in there as well. Um, I got like a little sort of like miscellaneous like level thing, which I thought was really, really dope. And um, I don't know. I think it looks pretty freaking dope. If I'm honest with you, my renders for this honestly carried me. Realistically, I think that's kind of like how all headers are. In a way, I guess the, the higher quality your assets are, of course, especially if they're video game related, the higher quality they are, I think the overall cooler and just overall more professional and dope execution that it can kind of give to you um, just by picture quality alone. So I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I got carried by this, but I feel like I don't know what else to add. And I feel like this is just perfect enough and I feel like it's fun enough and I'm gonna go with it. So if you guys let me know what I did or how I did in the comments section below, um, I'm appreciative. Otherwise, it's gonna go into the next one. And uh, what is it? I don't even know yet. Let's just go figure it out. All right, guys. So for the second design here, we have an Adventure Time YouTube banner. My so okay. Um, I've literally never watched uh, Adventure Time a day in my life. Not even once. Not even twice. Not even like a little bit. I just know Finn because that's the name that I think I see everywhere. But besides that, it's also a YouTube banner, so it's a little bit harder also to kind of fill some space and like have less space as well. It's gonna be kind of difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Now, to actually see what he actually has here, I think it's pretty dope. I mean, I do see a bit of a repeat kind of like of the Finn and whatever this guy's name is, I don't have any idea. But this guy, right, you see a repeat a lot. So with the repeat, I'm gonna hopefully try to like make that not repeated as much. And of course use more characters. One thing to know as well is kind of like the spacing between the middle. So I feel like everything's a little bit too small and too clumped up. I feel like all this space that's right here and right here is just a little bit too empty. So uh, let's see what we do and how we're gonna do this because I have no idea, but it should be fun. And hopefully if you guys like Inventor Time, it's, it's a little bit funner, better for you. Well, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna start off, I think, with just kind of like debunking where we're at here. This is all the editables. This is, wait, what? Bro, the background is so dope. What? Why would you not want to use, I mean, I don't know. Maybe his vision is a little bit more different than mine, but these colors right here already, they already speak to me. I don't know. Secondly here, I want to of course take this. I want to pen tool out this, uh, this sword right here, right? So this logo is more of like this greenish tone, orangey tone. And then I'll just drag this above here and like an, like an orange kind of like ball here. At least want to get somewhat close to that. So that it's not like so out of the blue. Perfect. And just like that, we got ourselves a pretty good looking sword in my opinion. So uh, I guess I already have the font for this and the name he has for this as well is good. I'm guessing that says goofy, like G goofy, goofy. I guess that's what it is. So G U F I. So G U F I. And the font I already have for this as well. I think the hardest part about this entire thing might be actually doing the color correction of it just because I want it to look somewhat authentic to the actual show itself. But realistically, knowing me, well, I don't really know about that. Um, okay, so let's just say for now we just make this red, right? That much is is, is easy enough. Okay, and I'll just do like the nice lighter tone red. 
Then of course, I obviously there's a bezel on it or a bevel, whatever you guys call it. This is where it's gonna get tricky though. Cause if I'm honest, I don't really mess around with bezels enough to kind of get what I know what I need. Like I probably the chisel hard is where I got what we need, right? Then I'll do like size, soften is not very much soft. Oh, not bad. Lower this down a bit as well. Maybe we'll do a little bit of satin to mess around with this a bit as well to get a little bit of a sheen kind of idea going. Okay, that's not bad. Also, I want to put, like how it says, it's in front here, behind here, in front here, behind here. I'm going to do the same thing for this. I'm going to actually rasterize this for a second. Make it do look at first. Rasterize this for a second. All right, we'll throw this behind the sword, which is right here. Let's put the U here, cut this, put this behind the sword, and the F will stay here, and the I then will get cut out. Now what I can do is, I guess I can just add in some shadows as well, so I'll put like a, a layer right below the F. Go in with a lower opacity brush, get in here and just make some nice little shadows. All right, I like that. Now I'll just do a few, maybe I'll just do one under the U as well, and just make a nice little shadow here, just so it's not, doesn't feel as lonely, or I guess it would be above the U actually. There we go, now we got all shadows. That's looking pretty okay. If I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm down with it. So let's just say now I'll make a new layer, Clip mask this, and I see there's like obviously these little black lines, which I'm guessing is kind of like whatever, cartoony, right? So I'll just kind of do the same exact thing, like two or two or one pixels long. Now I think I want to add like some kind of subtext of some sort, like right over here, right? He has no kind of like subtext, but I see code um gufanu. Guf I don't I don't I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is a code for. But uh, I'm guessing like some kind of like maybe a G fuel or something like that, an energy drink. I don't know. But I'm just going to write in just something else besides that. I'm going to write in like, I'm going to write in something like the adventure of, right? So it's like the adventure of Goofy, right? I think it's kind of cute. It might work. It might not. Let me just kind of make this way smaller though. Perfect. I think that looks pretty good. Now we got the adventure of Goofy. That's looking pretty nice. All right. I got this little Goofy text. Move it a little bit further down. All right. Let's start tossing in some characters in here and making some space for ourselves. Of course, the first guy I want to throw in here is this Finn character. There we go. Okay. So I think as well, I think that's actually pretty good. I'm trying to figure out though, like I can't quite put my finger on what I'm not like, like gauging what I do like or not like. I might, let me just actually just continue kind of adding some stuff until like, you know, then I can kind of figure it out more, but let's just add in the other persons as well. All right, I'm immediately noticing right now after adding in this person, how important this stroke is on the Finn character here. I need to at least bump up the stroke a lot, probably like three or four pixels on the blacks over here. So something like this, and I think this might make it look a little bit more in, in like the right kind of, uh, in the right kind of attitude for this. Now, for being honest with ourselves here, I actually hate the composition of this so freaking much. Um, I think I'm so in love with how like this Finn and his like whatever other character that is on this other side here look how they're kind of like they perfectly match each other and it kind of perfectly makes sense. Uh, everything else just kind of just seems weird if I add other people. Um, which I'm thinking at this point now, do I just take these guys, make them bigger, rotate a little bit so you can still see his kind of like that nice cool arch and his angle of his foot and stuff like that, right? Because realistically this square in a YouTube template, right? This square right here is all viewers can see it, right? Then when you go to this square out here, this is more where uh, people can see it if they're only on desktop. And then when you go out here, uh, and people on mobile can't see it, right? And this person right here is only if you're looking on a TV. So that way you get something more like this. This to me is making a little bit more sense for what I want to at least achieve in the video here today. So I think something like this is what I want to go for. I'm down for that. Now I'm seeing right here, right? The adventure of, this is looking a little bit too like out of the, out of everything. I'm going to go ahead and say, yo, right over here, he has like this kind of little cool sign. I'm gonna quickly Google a sign and see if I can get like a cool like wooden sign that'll work for this. And just by adding those little shadows, I feel like we got ourselves a pretty good look there. I'm down, I'm definitely down. Okay, so now I'm wondering <laughs> where to go next, if I'm being honest. I do like these little stars in this kind of like banner right here. Like, I don't know what these are, but I'm gonna take these and just yoink them and throw them over here. They look kind of fun and magical, um, like I'm guessing the show might be. Now, one thing's absolutely for certain, when I'm looking at this character, I'm looking at the background as well, there's this definite like obvious like color differential between the background and the actual person themselves. I might try to do something like this real quick. I'm gonna use a nice quick, little uh curve right so if i turn this on and off you can kind of tell me you can definitely say it feels more a part of it i feel like that's definitely what it needs i'm gonna take the same exact thing put it over here right it's looking pretty good i'll put the same exact color correction as well on top of this guy over here if i put it over everything kind of erase around some other spots with my brush it kind of makes it feel a little more cohesive around the entire thing 
I do think a darker background is actually doing this a bit of justice. I think it's a little bit too light right here. I think right around here is a pretty good amount. What if I just try to move the actual picture to get like a better like view? Wait, 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 wait. I'm actually, okay, wait. I'm actually not opposed to this. This feels a little bit better if I'm honest. Hold on. The orange kind of helps pop out everything and the colors definitely match the actual characters a little bit more. The yellow's a little bit too like out there, right? You got yellow, red, green, all right there. This right here feels more like the actual, uh, the sword at least feels a part of the graphic a little more too. And I want to like flirt with the clouds a little bit, right? So this image, oh my, I just realized this image is duplicated. That's what this hard line is. I need to fix that ASAP. My brain's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It already hurts. Right, like this cloud right here looks pretty good. I'll move another cloud over here, make it a little smaller, change the angle a little bit, make it bigger and put it like up here, I think. I feel like we're onto something. Now, this, this big ass cloud in the middle, I feel like it needs to go away. I'm curious if I just take like a color over here and then say like, boom, make a new layer and then kind of just redraw over it. I do think it's a little bit better. I'm gonna say it's a little bit better. I wanna take this cloud though, put it in the background though, for sure. I feel like I moved the cloud from <clears throat> like directly in the middle to like more on the outsides here. And I like how it looks. Now I'm starting to feel like this is actually kind of actually working a little bit more working. Um, now if I'm honest, it needs something. I wish there was something I knew of the game of some sort. Like, let me just look around for a second. I'm actually wondering if this is going to be a dumb idea or not. If I take these little sketches and I use like an image trace, I'll just do sketch art. Sure. Should that work? That does work. A little bit, I need a threshold a little bit higher. See now, imagine, okay, in the background of these little sketches, will it make it kind of feel together? So I'm gonna do one more, I'll do a few more. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take the entire thing for a second, kind of move it like this, move the other one over here. That way it almost kind of feels like a pattern. Then I'm gonna lower the opacity. Okay, follow me for a second. I feel like this might be kind of cool. Cause right, I feel like I'm onto a pretty cool idea, but I need to figure out how to execute it like actually. Like it needs to be a little bit better executed. And then I feel like I'm, I'm onto something. I mean, white's kind of cool. And if I move it like offset a little bit, you see how like it kind of looks like a, like more of like a, more like a sketch. Like if I move it to like the sides out here. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 wait, wait. Something like that, right? I mean, I feel like it kind of works. I feel like it's just quirky enough and kind of like, just like in the, in the realm of fun and kind of like sketchy, but also at the same time, feels like an added asset. So I'm gonna just say, yo, I add in one more final glow over here maybe, just so that kind of matches that there's a glowing sword over here, that's not the only thing glowing. All right, I think this honestly might be the best it's gonna get. This is all I got, so hopefully at this point, I'll throw up the before and after for you guys that Dennis did and the one I just did just now. And uh, I feel as if, if I look at it now, I feel like I got a better idea of a composition that I kind of want. I think it's a little more easier to follow. I feel the space a lot more. I just wish there was a way that I kind of like, maybe I needed a ba different background. I I'm still not incredibly happy with it, but I'm happy enough with it to be like, I think this is improved in some kind of way. And you guys let me know in the comments below what else I probably could have done. But for me, that's pretty much it. You guys let me know though. However, with that being said, guys, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video here today. Uh, I think I really like the Pokemon one. I like the Adventure Time one. The Adventure Time was definitely a challenge. I just felt like I didn't know enough about the actual series to kind of like get it going. But that's on my part. I should have done more research for the record. Uh, but hopefully it's good enough so you guys can be like, oh, this is kind of cool. I feel like I might tweak it just a little bit more. But regardless, I do hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you guys so very much for the support of this series. Um, as always, guys, just of course, you want to follow and or uh, subscribe if you guys haven't already. But if you guys want to also Discord, or excuse me, English is so difficult, bro. If you guys also want to participate, make sure you guys uh, follow my Discord or uh, how do you say this? Join the Discord. And with that said, that is discord.gg. Where I basically see the little redesigning tab. That's where you want to put your PSD in there and your final artwork if you guys want to see me redo it but i love you guys Sesso hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys i love you so very much and uh yeah enjoy the video if you guys did enjoy your weekend and that's all i got later